Krishna, dear souls, welcome back. Sorry about that, dear souls, for another session of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra music meditation. It's my style, musical, um, if that makes sense, dear souls out there in the world. Um, for those of you who don't know what this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is, it's described as the great mantra for this age. As far as I'm aware, it's because it's, um, cleanses out the heart, it cleans out the heart, in other words, um, it clears the mind, you know, it deepens and expands the heart, um, and it uh, cleanses and purifies the atmosphere as well. So it's an all-rounder, you know, um, good mantra. Mantra simply means to free the mind. As far as I've heard and as far as I'm aware, um, you know, and so this mantra, as far as I'm aware, it can be uh, expressed anywhere, anytime. You know, there's no hard and fast rules. Um, we all need a way to take shelter of something. You know, and in my experience, a lot of the things that I took shelter of in my life, um, yes, there was definitely temporary pleasure. There's no doubt about that. You know, there's like a you know, kind of thing. Almost, maybe, maybe not, but no, that's how I describe it in my experience. But then it goes away, you know, almost instantly. Um, and if not instantly, then it dissipates um, quickly, in my personal experience. You know, and so you need another movie and another TV show and another other kind of video and another um, interaction with a friend. All of these are on the material level. And so, the deeper we go into this kind of mantra, this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, the less you are in need, at, as I might say, of any of that. Um, you know, and it's a gradual process, so be kind to yourself. Never get out the imaginary whip, which we all have, you know, and slash our back, so to speak, imaginarily. If that's a word, I'm not sure, dear souls out there in the world. I apologize if it's not, dear souls out there in the world, the word um, imaginarily. Um, but anyway, you know, and go bad yourself. My name's Giselle, by the way. For those of you who don't know what my name is, another material designation, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, no, that's not the way. Um, the way is to, throughout this whole process of meditation, um, give yourself a lot of patience and self-kindness and self-love and self-care. You know, look after yourself to the best of your ability because everyone's in a different circumstance. You know, someone might not be able to move right now physically. I've been in that situation, you know. So you do the best that you can with what you have and the time that you have. There was even a period of time in my life where, you know, it was, uh, so I would say it felt physically impossible to wake up in the morning. Not like a, um, oh, I don't want to get out of bed, but because I developed this physical condition where the earliest I could actually physically wake up and get out of bed was 12 p.m. Um, yeah, so we're always in different circumstances, um, and they're always changing. Like now I can wake up early due to having um, looked after myself to the best of my ability. And that will always change. Our best will always change. So there's no need to worry about that. All we need to do is just keep at it picking away, picking away. Um, there's a great story, actually, in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, as it is, by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jaya. Um, and I'm just going to paraphrase from memory. I'm sorry, dear souls. Out there in the world, it talks about the sparrow, I think, which, um, or some sort of animal, I'm not sure, I'm so sorry, dear souls out there in the world, who, um, uh, oh goodness, um, maybe lost something in the ocean, goodness, this is terrible, um, and so the animal ended up crying, Oh, oh, this is really bad. I'm sorry, dear souls out there in the world. But anyway, the moral or the point of that story was that um, they kept trying to 
get back where I had. If that was even the story, oh god, this is terrible. Um, maybe someone can correct me um, in the comments below. I'm so sorry, dear cells out there in the world. Please forgive me, dear cells out there in the world. If I began, forgive me, dear cells out there in the world. But it's okay if you can't, dear cells out there in the world. Um, anyway, it was demonstrating their determination, that's for sure, to um, get what they wanted. And so um, the moral from what I've been told, actually, by a really lovely um, meditator, uh, they were telling me from memory that um, we should apply that same determination with our own meditation and putting our heart into meditation more and more. This is terrible. I'm so sorry, dear souls out there in the world. Um, yeah. But uh, that's very important to just keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, no matter what happens. Whether it's a sunny day or a rainy day. Whether we're healthy or ill. Um, whether we're happy on the material level or sad on the material level or angry on the material level. Because we all have these feelings. And this is the best way and place, um, if that makes sense to us, so that we're in the world, to put all of our feelings into the Hare Krishna Mara Mantra. You know, if we put, in my personal experience anyway, our feelings into anything or anyone else, it simply leads to headaches, so to speak. In other words, it leads to frustration, dear souls out there in the world. Um, and so that is definitely not the way but if we're currently doing that, then we shouldn't feel bad about it. Um, simply, you know, we can have a think about how there's another uh, way in which we can uh, deal with these emotions and thoughts and, um, you know, everything that's going on, basically, because really at the end of the day we can't sort out much on the material level you know we might think oh i can do this and i can be this but um we're really quite so i meant to say we're really quite limited um i'm not uh, uh, uh what's the right word belittling anyone here that's not my intention but just the fact that you know we're really struggling in a way on the material level you know, and the amount of things that we can solve on the material level is very, very tiny, you know, um, and so why not go higher, you know, and um, maybe check this next point out that I'm going to make with someone who's more experienced with this kind of meditation, but the Srimad Bhagavad Gita as it is, by Svanga says, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jaya says, um, and states, in other words, to ourselves out there in the world, that this mantra, the Sai Krishna Mara mantra, can be um, expressed uh, constantly or incessantly. You know, I don't want to make these kinds of statements for someone to, you know, um, end up in a dangerous situation, but at the end of the day, um, my advice would be to just use it whenever to soothe yourself, you know, um, this uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is incredibly powerful and protective and um, in my experience anyway, it leads to brightness, you know, whereas everything else that I've tried simply leads to frustration, headaches in other words, dear souls out there in the world, and darkness. Um, and we should never feel bad about the situation that we're currently in. We simply just go deeper, you know, with the situation that we're in, with whatever we have, go deeper. Um, that's up to us, ultimately. And we can help each other um, to the best of our ability as well. Um, but at the end of the day, we must take responsibility for ourselves, personal responsibility. In other words, to ourselves out there in the world. So we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Mahamantra chanting. And for those of you who don't know, how to say this mantra or what 
it looks like, or what it is, in other words, dear souls out there in the world, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed, in other words, dear souls out there in the world, into a 16 named sentence, which goes Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and I'll say it one more time, slowly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And maybe another time quickly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare. This mantra, which means to feed the mind, it makes the mind strong ultimately um, and develops a more juicy heart. Um, and it just goes more and more and more over time. So I warmly uh, encourage uh, others to. Give it a go in the way that feels most comfortable for you. So we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Mahamantra expressing. It's singing in this case. Okay, so I'm going to use my head instruments because I have no other instruments on me. Or like, you know, um, instruments that you can buy at the store anyway. I have plastic and okay, bottles and things, but I'm just going to use my hands. Okay, here we'll go. I'll start with the melody and the melody may change from time to time. Bear with me, but ease your way in to the best of your ability in a way that's most comfortable and to this mantra. The mantra is what gives this meditation power. Not necessarily the melody or me, but the mantra. But um, what hopefully will come across is our hearts. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 
of the divine, um, no doubt, um, probably, we'll see, I don't know, <laughs> but, um, I'm sorry dear souls, but I'm so, uh, unclear, but, um, uh, yeah, what came to my mind was, you know, there are even, um, spiritual teachers out there and spiritual guides, you know, and mm, they talk about initiation, where, um, I actually don't know too much about it, but, um, you know, it's, 
my understanding is that it signifies your um, uh, willingness to accept uh, um, guidance and wisdom from someone who has a heart that is far greater than yours, you know, and there's a way to do it physically, you know, it involves fire and um, fruit and all of these things, but then I've heard many times from at least one spiritual guy, his name is His Holiness Devanita Swami, he says that real initiation happens within the heart, you know, when you actually accept um, the heart process and also, you know, that um, you're willing to uh, um, go on this journey with uh, someone who can give you a lot of heart as well. Um, so it's all about the heart, you know. I hope that doesn't scare anyone away. Scare, I should say, sorry. I need to say sorry to ourselves at the end of the world, but... You know, you find all of these examples, all of the different facets of where this um, Hare Krishna Mahamantra comes from. It's all about the heart, you know, and it's just a matter of are we ready to put our heart into this meditation. And if what I just said before about the initiation thing scared you, then um, what I always say is at the end of the day, it really is about the core process, which is the expressing of this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you could be dressed like this, you know, have this amount of fear or this amount of fear, um, live in this place or that place, you know, I'm always changing where I live, you know, um, and not by choice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, things are always coming and going. Um, and so it's really about, um, you know, what matters most amongst all of that, and that's the heart, you know, um, and if we've found that we've gotten lost, <coughs> excuse me, Hare Krishna, dear souls out there in the world, please forgive me for my burp, dear souls out there in the world, um, you know, uh, if we've experienced getting lost within the non-heart stuff, um, the non-hearty stuff, if that makes sense, dear souls, out there in the world, I should say, um, you know, then it's simply a matter of just re-engaging in the mantra, you know, that's all that is required, you know, because that is where the heart comes from in the realization, and it's a journey, you know, so um, I say it this way as well, another reason I meant to say to us also in the world is why I'm emphasizing this is because it can be so easy to get caught up in a lot of other things or um, get worried about a lot of other things, stressed about a lot of other things, you know, when really this is the main thing, this is the main meal and the dessert as far as I'm aware and the second dessert and the third dessert if you are like me. Um, Yeah, so uh, be kind to yourself, love yourself as much as possible on all levels. You know, there's a way to love the body and that's to keep it fit and healthy, you know, to, to the best of our ability, as I meant to say to yourselves. Um, there's a way to uh, love the mind even, just on the mental level, you know. Um, there are so many different ways in which we can release emotion if we need to, um, all the while knowing that, you know, uh, the effect of those things are temporary, whereas this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, it will always stay with you, and the effect that it has will always stay with you. So I'll leave the talk there, I apologize for anything I've said that's not correct, or I do try my best, but I'm always open to uh, feedback, um, and if I'm not, on any given day, it just means that I'm incredibly proud, you know, so I just need to, uh, uh, you know, in a non-violent way, obviously, but like, uh, not myself off the high horse, um, yeah, 
So please forgive me if I come across in any way that um, is not right. Um, but what I do try and do is just invest as much of my heart as I can into these videos. And so I apologise to ourselves if that changes, you know, from session to session, from experience to experience. Um, but what we should do is always try and do our best and then strive to do better, you know, on the heart level. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I woke up at 4am today, therefore I must wake up at 2am, you know, that's all on the material level. Of course, if you can manage it, then fine. But, um, yeah, it's about how much heart you're investing into the core meditation, this core practice, uh, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra expressing. And if you don't like to speak it, hum it. If you don't like to hum it, you can think it. You can shout it, you can scream it, you can sing it. You know, it's a really unconditional practice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Take care, dear souls out there in the world. Hare Krishna.